What are you doing here? Well, it's back on the dryer. It's uh, running right now, sounding good. It's the day after I fixed it, put the new, made my own new support carrier bearing in the back, I guess you could call it. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show it working. I need mean, light on it here. Too. So I'll get closer to it so you can hear it. There's a rattling that has always been there for, well, let's see, there could be some kind of closure making that, you know, but there is a, I know there's one penny stuck in the rims that don't want to come out, and I think that's what happened, there's just some kind of change. Uh, the ribs that make the flows kind of tumble more, there, uh, I think there's one or more coins stuck in there, been that one for years. Can't, 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 I tried to figure out if I could get it out and I couldn't. But if in the previous videos you hear that screaming, so I'll show, I'll open up. Let's see, let's get a little more light. Yeah, I guess. Now let's just turn it on. I don't know if that makes it make any difference. Alright, I'll turn it off and show you. It's a good load. It's all towels and. It's not the biggest, but it is a good heavy load. So that, that's a good best test. And it was used last night already, and it did fine. Yeah. I did not get in. I did not finish this till midnight. I worked on. I started at 11, and then I, you know, decided when looked up parts for probably a couple hours and ordered my parts, and then I decided to go ahead. And, I'm gonna turn it on. Oops. So I decided to, uh, you know, remake my own bearing carrier. I'll just call it a carrier bearing. It's kind of what it reminds me of. If you're familiar with carrier bearings and hold up a drive shaft in a, truck, a vehicle. But uh, <coughs> anyway, I used a uh, U-joint cap that used to be on my blazer that got... <laughs> I had trouble with my U-joints breaking. Uh, the trucks jacked up, four-wheel drive, and uh, but the, you know, it was like that when I got it. And the people who did it didn't. Uh, you need to change the angle. You have to. Well, I'm going into a bunch of stuff. But anyway, uh, so the cap was an old one that had a. I don't remember what I was doing with it, but I had a U-bolt stuck through it and bolted to it. I was using it for something. I don't know if it's a blazer or something else, but. Uh, I uh, finishing my washing there in a little while. Uh, it's um, I knew that cap would be uh, you know pretty hard steel, and uh, it just was the right size and shape, the right the right uh, radius, you know, to fit that trailer hitch ball, <laughs> that gooseneck trailer hitch ball is what it looks like. That right, uh, so. Uh, Figured it out, you know, mounted it up. Of course, the videos will show me on you know, doing all the work and mounting it in there, but uh, it's definitely a heck of a lot tougher than that plastic. Now, I looked when I was reordering the whole kit, I bought the whole kit. It's got the the, the mount, the bearing, the bushing bearing mount, uh, plastic thing. It's got the I could have showed uh, it's got the felt for the door, the plastic bushings that go on top of the door. Well, it's not the door that you open, but the front cover it has those bushings that the drum rides on three or four of those they're worn through there's not much left of them under that there's felt so you know it's still working fine but I need to need to replace those so and a belt the belt's almost it's it's still there but it's pretty old and cracked in a lot of places where we go at any time could go at any time so the belt and what else oh a new idler pulley for on the motor for the belt and some glue and stuff that comes with it, some grease. <clears throat> uh, last time I think I paid thirty-five dollars for it, or fifty-five dollars, or thirty-five. And this time it was seventy-six dollars. It sure has gone up, but it was in twenty eleven the last time we did this. So the thing, you know, the original setup just like that lasted from ninety-three when it was built until twenty eleven. I'm pretty sure, and no one replaced it before then. And then from twenty eleven till twenty nineteen. 
that lasted. See how, and it just, that's better than a lot of things, but it just pisses me off how poorly everything is made these days. Uh, we've kept it, that one running since 93. That washer, we put, we, the motor did, finally went out after all these years. It's from the error, 83 to 85, Maytag washer. And uh, there's been a few other little parts and hoses we've, 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 hoses we've replaced can't see it really the sun shining but uh, over the years <clears throat> but uh, especially like a Maytag washer they really do last forever and we almost bought a new one but the reviews were so bad they not only did they break left and right I don't care what brand you pay 650 bucks for a me median range one the bird sure is singing in it for a median range one and uh, it might, la it might last a year or two before it breaks, or it might last a month or two, three before it breaks. From what I've seen, everybody's reviews. And uh, and everyone, almost, com the biggest complaint, even the ones that didn't say it bro uh, broke, is that it, uh, that no, these washers, they got this, they're supposedly saving water, that they won't, uh, they won't clean the clothes. They actually tear up your clothes. And it only makes sense. You got, uh, this tub, that size, whatever size, I forgot what size it is. Well, this thing fills up almost to the top. And uh, you need that water to keep those agitators down in there from tearing up your clothes. If they're sitting in this much water to this much water, which is, here's my hand. From this, this much water to this much water is which, which I was, well, I saw pictures. That much water for more clothes than that you know when they're wet you know they settle down well they were wet and they were sitting up above the water so yeah it's going to tear up your clothes so uh, I thought why would we spend all that money on something that's going to tear up your clothes it may break so anyway back to the dryer other than the normal rattling that it always does anyway it's sounding great no screeching and none of that stuff so I'm going to stop jabbering and uh, finish washing. Put my other load in to wash. All right, bye-bye.